Hi there, I'm StreamFab. Welcome to today's video. Don't worry when you encounter playback or download issues, we are here for assistance. This guide is here to help you navigate the most common problems encountered when using StreamFab. From diagnosing playback errors to fine-tuning subtitle settings, we'll walk you through step-by-step -step solutions to ensure a smoother viewing experience. Number 1. Visual Glitches, Stuttering, Green Screen, Pixelation Let's begin with playback issues, which are among the most frequently reported problems. If you notice that your downloaded video stutters, displays green screens, flickers, or shows visual artifacts like color blocks, there are a few quick checks you can perform. First, confirm that the download completed successfully by checking the download status in StreamFab. Then, Right-click on the video file, open Properties, and verify the file size. As a general reference, a 1-minute video should be approximately 3 to 5 megabytes in size. If the file size looks correct, but the video still plays abnormally, try opening it in a different media player. VLC is our top recommendation, followed by PlayerFab and your system's default player. If none of these resolve the issue, you can open the StreamFab settings and experiment with switching the video encoding format between HEVC and H.264 to see if it improves compatibility with your system. Number 2. Missing audio. Another issue users often face is the absence of audio during playback. To determine the cause, start by identifying whether it's a single video or a system-wide issue. If it's just one video, double-check the original source. Some platforms, such as Netflix, may offer trailers that have no audio track by design. However, if audio is missing from all downloaded videos, it's likely due to an incorrect setting. Open the audio preferences in StreamFab and ensure the format is set to AAC, which is widely supported. For a more technical inspection, you can right-click the video file and select Media Info. In the displayed metadata, Verify that an audio track is listed, ideally in AAC or AC3 format, and check for a valid sample rate. This diagnostic step helps ensure that the audio was encoded correctly during download. Part 2. Subtitle Problems Subtitles are another essential component of the viewing experience, and StreamFab supports both embedded subtitles, also known as Remux, and external S, RT subtitle files. If subtitles are not displaying as expected, first make sure your media player has subtitle support enabled. In VLC, go to the menu bar, click on Subtitles, and manually select a track if necessary. To improve the chances of subtitles appearing correctly during playback, you can mark your preferred subtitle language with a star in StreamFab before starting the download. If playback issues persist even after selecting the correct track, consider converting the SRT file into ASS format, which tends to offer better compatibility with certain players and rendering engines. Part 3. Downloading Issues Number 1. Queue blocking is not a bug. Let's now talk about download behavior. One question that often arises is why StreamFab seems to block other downloads when working with the same website. In fact, this is not a bug. It's by design. StreamFab follows a single task queue system for each supported platform, which means it can only process one video download per site at a time. For example, if you're currently downloading a video from Crunchyroll, no other Crunchyroll video can be analyzed or added to the queue until the current task finishes. This rule applies uniformly across all supported platforms. Number 2. Task Limit Additionally, there is a 100 task limit on some services. Once you reach this cap, StreamFab will pause further downloads automatically. Whether the remaining tasks resume the next day depends on your system behavior settings, which can be configured under Preferences, VIP Services, Preferred Settings, System Behavior. Part 4. Subtitles and Output Format Number 1. Setting Default 
Subtitle language. Managing subtitles and output formats can also improve your download experience. If you'd like to set a default subtitle language, go to the download page and click the small triangle next to the subtitle language to set your preferred option. Number two, subtitle format differences. Different platforms may provide different controls. For instance, YouTube has a dedicated subtitle settings panel, while subtitle format settings for MPD and M3U8 downloads are exclusive to VIP users. Familiarizing yourself with these platform-specific features can help ensure your downloaded videos are fully equipped with your desired subtitle tracks. Part 5. Can the video be downloaded? How to test. To verify whether a video can be downloaded using StreamFab, there are two recommended methods. First, test whether the video plays normally in your desktop browser. If it does, this indicates the source is accessible and likely supported. Next, copy the URL and paste it directly into StreamFab's built-in browser. If the video loads successfully there, you can proceed with downloading it as usual. These simple checks can save you time and help avoid frustration when attempting to download unsupported content. Part 6. Still need help. Try this. Finally, if your issue isn't covered in this video, don't worry. There are still several ways to get help. Visit the official user forum, where you'll find a wealth of shared experiences and troubleshooting tips posted by other StreamFab users. You can also check the online help center, which contains FAQs and step-by-step -step tutorials. If you still can't resolve the problem, you can always reach out to the StreamFab support team via email for direct assistance. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more tips. StreamFab, your best video offline solution. See you next time.